Buenos días y bienvenidos a la segunda edición del concurso de cultura olímpica de los colegios SEC. Hi everyone, welcome to the second edition of the contest about Olympic culture for SEC schools for students of fifth grade. Last year the winner uh, of the competition was Santa Isabel and its students could enjoy it at su a summer camp. This edition, apart from uh, SEC schools in Spain, Alborán, Atlántico, Cataluña, Ciudad del Campo, El Castillo y Santa Isabel, we are welcoming uh, a new school from Qatar that will enjoy us on this edition. So this year there will be seven schools in total. So that's will run the contest mainly in English. Uh, let me remind you that uh, each school will, represent, will be represented uh, by one team with three, four or five uh, members and the winner team will be the one that gets most points considering the number of the right answers and how fast you answer. This is uh, uh, very important uh, to avoid uh, drones. Uh, there are 30 questions about Summer Olympic Games and um, after the 15 first question, we are going to make a pause and uh, recount the, the answers. Uh, you have 10 seconds to answer each question uh, and the winning school will have a summer camp as a prize as we did last uh, year. Um, lo recuerdo también en español, serán 30 preguntas sobre los Juegos Olímpicos de verano y cada 10 respuestas, perdón, cada 15 respuestas, después de las primeras 15 haremos una pausa para hacer el recuento de cómo va la, la competición para luego afrontar las últimas eh, 15. Tendréis 10 segundos por cada respuesta y recuerdo que el equipo ganador disfrutará de un campamento de verano como ya ocurrió el año pasado. Um, and now let me introduce you to the couple of experts uh, who will join us during the contest. Firstly, I would like to welcome Juan Carlos Segovia, Director Olympic Chair in Camilo José Cela University, uh, who is going to talk about uh, how this event has been prepared. Juan Carlos, all yours. Thank you, Pipe. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second edition to the Olympic Contest, organized by the Olympic Chair, the USA, JSA, Sport Academy, and the SEC schools. We hope it will be as exciting and attractive as the first one. It only started by trying to make students aware of the history of the Olympics and its role in education. The aim was for the students to learn about the origin of the Olympics through talks and debates after which a cultural and context was held. Initially, it was done remotely due to the pandemic, but the model has consolidated because of the distance from the schools and the fact that the other students could see it. A preliminary phase is carried out in the schools and the final phase, which is where we are now. There will be online tests of 30 multiple choice questions for the students to complete. The one who answered the most questions correctly and in the shortest time is the winner. Good luck. Thank, thank you for sharing this explanation, Juan Carlos. And now I want to say hello to our second guest, uh, J. Ombrados, Sports Academy in Camilo José Cela University and double bronze Olympic medalist in handball. J. is going to tell us about the Olympic Games and the sport values. Come on, J. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, we have here the, 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 my, my uh, medals in both uh, Olympic Games. Today is a great day. Uh, we are together again doing a tribute to the Olympic Games, although, uh, in my opinion, the most important celebrating almost all the second schools are in contact with the history of Olympic Games. Why are we are happy uh, for that? Because the Olympic Games is something more a history on um, the sport results. They are very important for the values that they transmit for the, a long time. I have a, a, the luck to live in four occasions. Uh, this experience is, I can say, that uh, is uh, the most amazing experience that uh, one sportsman uh, can live. Uh, but today is uh, a turn to show us your knowledge. 
So as in the Olympic Games, we are already have uh, won because uh, we know more than before about the Olympic Games. I would like to say thank you all the teachers and the team of UCJC. Well, without them, uh, that uh, would be impossible. And uh, come on, guys, good luck. Uh, today uh, would be an important day for everybody. Okay, thank you, uh, Jota, for sharing your knowledge, knowledge and, and experience. Now let's see some videos. Uh, firstly, let's remind uh, how was the contest of the last year. Estamos en directo. Buenos días a todos. Eh, desde la central de la Universidad de Camilo Burcela. Por favor, ¿dónde se celebraron los primeros Juegos Olímpicos de la era moderna? Ah. then uh, we are going to introduce uh, all the different teams that are taking part in this uh, contest. Y vamos a empezar con uh, Sec Alborán. Vamos a conocer primero a todos sus miembros. Hola, soy Ana. Yo soy María. Yo soy Emma. Yo soy Alberto. Y yo soy Alejandro. Y somos alumnos de quinto de primaria de Sec Alborán. Venimos a disfrutar y aprender. Pero también para ganar. El equipo de Sec Alborán, recuerdo que... Hay que dar las gracias a, a Clara María López, Ángeles López y María Encarna Herrada, que son los que han estado ahí un poco al pie del cañón con, este, eh, con esta experiencia y con este concurso. Y están ahí Ani, María, Emma, Alberto y Alejandro. ¿Qué tal, chicos? ¿Cómo estáis? Pues bastante bien. ¿Hay nervios o no? Sí. Sí, un poquito. Bueno, seguro que lo vais a hacer muy bien. Seguro que lo vais a hacer muy bien. Pues mucha suerte, ¿eh? Venga, seguimos. Vamos con eh, los participantes del equipo de SEC Atlántico. Hola, nosotros somos Carolina, Felipe, que no pudo estar presente, Aurora, Mencio y Lucas. Estamos representando a Quinto del Colegio SEC Atlántico. A los que os interese veros, somos el equipo llamado James Owens. Y aquí nos despedimos con los niños de Quinto. Bueno, pues el equipo Jesse Owens. Me ha parecido escuchar... Eh, Gracias al, bueno, pues al miembro del colegio, José Luis Santos, que ha estado ahí pendiente para organizar todo. Y ya tenemos ahí a Carolina. Ahora sí vemos a Felipe, Aurora, Mencía y Lucas. ¿Qué tal, chicos ¿Cómo, y chicas? ¿Cómo estáis? Muy bien. Muy bien. ¿Con ganas de empezar ya? Sí. Pues nada, pues no os vamos a hacer esperar mucho. Que vaya muy bien. Mucha suerte. ¿eh? Gracias. Gracias. Venga, continuamos con el siguiente colegio. Con, nos vamos a Cataluña con el SEC Cataluña. Estamos alumnos de quinto de primaria de SEC Cataluña. Hola, me llamo Chin Chin, tengo 10 años, soy de SEC Cataluña. Me ha hecho mucha ilusión ganar este concurso y me gusta jugar al básquet y en mi tiempo libre para pirotección. Hola, me llamo Anaí, soy de quinto de primaria de SEC Cataluña, tengo 10 años y me gusta el deporte de badminton, básquet y eh, me gusta eh, jugar a la tablet. Hola, soy Oriol y, y me ha gustado mucho 
ganar en la competición y tengo 10 años, voy a quedar de primaria, el SEC Cataluña y me gusta el fútbol, el hockey, tenis y más deportes. Y también me gusta mucho jugar a videojuegos del iPad, la Play y el ordenador. Hola, soy Arnau de quinto de primaria, tengo 10 años y voy al SEC Cataluña. Me gusta jugar a los videojuegos y me ha hecho mucha ilusión ganar este torneo. Bueno, todos hablaban de que han ganado un torneo porque recuerdo que en todos los colegios ha habido un concurso interno para elegir al equipo ganador, que es el que está representando aquí a, a cada colegio, gracias a, a Ivana Mestres, a Fernando Manga, Ruge, eh, Mauri, Jordi Vilare, eh, Vilaregut. Eh, que son un poco ahí los eh, que han coordinado y organizado este concurso dentro del colegio. Y ya tenemos ahí a Shinshin, Anaís, eh, Oriol, Uriol y Arnau. ¿Cómo estáis, chicos y chicas? Sí, tenéis que abrir el micro que no se os escucha. A ver si ahora... Nada, esto... Cosas técnicas. Ahora sí, ahora sí os escuchamos. Bueno, ¿cómo lo lleváis? ¿Cómo lo lleváis? Bien, bien. ¿Bien? Estáis ahí un poco tra bien. muy tranquilos, ¿no? Os veo. Tranquilos, ¿no? Os veo. Porque hemos practicado mucho. Ah, bien. O sea, vais seguros. Eso está muy bien. Eso está muy bien. Eso está muy bien. Pues nada, que tengáis mucha suerte. Que tengáis mucha suerte. Muchas gracias. Venga, seguimos. Vamos al SEC Ciudad del Campo, aquí en Madrid, que es nuestro siguiente cole. Bueno, vamos a presentar al grupo de quinto que va a concursar en el concurso de los Juegos Olímpicos. Hola, mi nombre es Jaime y mi favorito cosa de, de ver en los Juegos Olímpicos es los 400 metros de, de relevos de natación. Hola, soy Ulises Garzas y me gusta mucho el esquí, entonces pues también en los Juegos Olímpicos de invierno me gusta mucho ver... Los, los, los esquiadores esquiando. Hola, soy Charlie. Mi juego favorito es esquiar. Yo soy Pedro y mi parte favorita de los Juegos Olímpicos de Invierno es el snowboard. Muy bien, pues estos son los campeones que van a concursar representando a quinto de primaria. Perfecto, recuerdo por favor si podéis abrir la cámara para que os podamos ver a todos, pues eh, perfecto, el coordinador Alberto Domínguez que ha estado ahí, ahora sí ya eh, tenemos la, la imagen de el colegio de Ciudad del Campo, que todos hablaban de los Juegos de Invierno, porque claro, es que hay que recordar que los Juegos de Invierno fueron hace muy poco, en el mes de febrero, y seguro que los han disfrutado tanto Jaime como Ulises, como Charlie, como Pedro, ¿cómo estáis chicos? Bien. Bien. ¿Todo bien? ¿Preparados? ¿Con ganas ya de comenzar? Sí. sí. Bueno, pues que tengáis también mucha suerte, ¿vale? Gracias. Gracias. Venga, continuamos con el Colegio SEC El Castillo. Vamos allá. Hola, soy Daniela Rani López y soy de Quinto B. Hola, soy Martina Rodríguez Cobos y soy de Quinto B. Hola, soy Sara Muñoz Grande y soy de Quinto B. Hola, soy Carlos Sánchez. Bueno, pues ya están también ahí preparados. Gracias también a Cecilio Pérez, María Janaco y Raúl Rollón, que han organizado el concurso dentro de, del cole. Y ahí ya están Daniela, Martina, Sara y Carlos. ¿Cómo estáis? Muy bien. ¿Preparados? ¿Cómo lo, ¿Lo habéis preparado bien? ¿Creéis que vais a ganar? Sí. sí. ¿No? ¿Tenéis confianza o no? Sí, sí. Sí, eso es. Lo primero hay, que, hay que confiar en vuestras posibilidades. Bueno, pues que también tengáis mucha suerte. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Next one is Sec Qatar. Hi, my name is Rowan. I'm 10 years old. I'm from Sudan in the US. I speak one language, which is English. Um, I like sushi, shopping, and my friends. Um, and I can't wait to compete with you. Hi, my name's Rafael. I'm 11 years old. I'm from America and Lebanon. I live in Doha, Qatar. I like, I like eating pizza. My, fav my two favorite sports that I like 
or basketball and football, and I can't wait to compete against you guys. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum, guys. I'm Lean, and I'm 11 years old. I'm from Canada. I speak Arabic and English. I like playing with my friends. I like watching TikTok and eating. Let's go, ICK Qatar. Hola, I'm Saro. I am from Colombia. I'm 11 years old. I like watching movies, hang hanging with friends, and I really like sports. Estamos muy felices para competir con vosotros. Let's go, ICK Qatar! Okay, we are in, in Qatar. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. Rawan, Rafael, Lin, and Sara, are you nervous? Yes. Kind of. yes. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'm sure you will be, you will do very, very well. So don't worry and enjoy the, the contest. Good, good luck. <laughs> Bueno, pues vamos con el último cole, con el SEC Santa Isabel. Volvemos aquí a Madrid. Hola, somos alumnos del SEC Santa Isabel de quinto de primaria. Hola, me, hola, me llamo Pablo y, he hecho, y, me, y me he apuntado a, este, a esto de los Juegos Olímpicos porque me pareció un trabajo muy divertido y muy chulo. Hola, me llamo Clara Quevedo y me he apuntado a este concurso de los Juegos Olímpicos porque me pareció como conocer más cosas de los Juegos Olímpicos. Hola, me llamo Claire Bonet y me apunté a este concurso porque me pareció muy interesante aprender sobre las Olimpiadas. Y del chico, de Clara, Chloe y Pablo, ahí les tenemos preparados. Gracias también a Victoriano Martín y Ana Belén, de la chica, que son los que han organizado y preparado a los chicos para llegar a este momento, a este día. Y nada, ¿qué tal? Pablo, Clara, Chloe, ¿cómo estáis? Bien, bien. bien. ¿Nerviosos o no? Sí, sí. Sí, un poquito. Bueno, pues venga, fuera nervios, que enseguida ya vamos a, a comenzar. Que tengáis también mucha suerte. Gracias. Bueno, agradecimientos también a Enrique Tribaldo, Álvaro Gómez y Ricardo Blázquez en la parte técnica, que sin ellos esto sería eh, totalmente imposible. Ok, uh, presentations made, uh, Juan Carlos, J. do you want to tell something to the pupils before they start the contest? ¿Queréis decir algo a los participantes, mandar algún mensaje? Yes, of course. Uh, I think it's uh, Juan Carlos and me, we are the comments, it's uh, very amazing uh, when uh, we see all the schools share the knowledge and in my, in my opinion, it's the, the most important is um, one of the, the students from Qatar say perfectly, uh, we are happy because we are friends. We are, uh, everybody's friends today. Uh, it's not, the, it's not the, the most important who, who uh, will be the, the winner, but uh, it's, uh, I think it's a very important uh, contest in this, in, for, for the values. And Juan Carlos, what do you, what, what is your opinion about the, the 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 contest is the, what consider the most important from the institution well 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 uh, the best uh, the, the best thing is, is that to to know that uh, the sport is only only a, a part of the, of the of the of the problem and then is uh, here that uh, the, the 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 sport is a, is a way to to know about the culture about the the uh, everything about the the values in the sports and it's a, a good occasion to to uh, to join all the schools together for going to this this uh, second edition of the contest come on uh, pipe uh, <laughs> i pass you the ball and continue with the context please okay thank you guys so let's move on to the contest uh, good luck everyone uh, we're going with the first question What is the name of the father of the Olympic Games of the modern era? We mind you have 10 seconds. Three seconds left. It's very important the, how fast you, you answer. 
second question. What was the first Spanish city to appear at the Olympic Games? Remember all the questions will be in English. Okay, let's let's go with the third question. What is the name of the runner who won the marathon barefoot? And there are seven answers, so all the schools are now six. Okay, next one. Fourth question. Come on, don't give up. Where were the first Olympic Games of the modern era? A, B, C, D, you have four possible answers. Well done. Number five. Whose Olympic motto is farther, stronger, higher? Hurry up, you have three seconds. Mm. Okay, let's go. Next question, number six. In which Olympic Games did a terrorist attack on the Israeli delegation take place? Berlin, London, Montreal or Munich? Okay, S seventh question. We are in the middle of the first block. Which athlete won four gold medals at Berlin 1936? Owens, Luis Christie or Johnson? Come on. Next one, eighth question. Question number eight. In which Olympics did Cassius Clay win boxing gold? I know there are some tricky questions or difficult questions, but I know you are ready to answer well. Well done. Nine one. Six question until the, the pause. Uh, in what year were the first Olympic Games? The, uh, we are talking about the ancient era. Time's up. Oh, perfect. Question number 10. It's very important to answer how fast uh, where is the official headquarters of IOC, International Olympic Committee? So important to answer very fast. Five right. Question number 11. In what year were the first Olympic Games of the modern era held? Three seconds left. Five right answers. Question number 12. Three more and we will do a, a pause and recount. What was the name of the runner who won the first run of the Olympics? This question is the ancient era too. Okay, 13th. Who was the first president of the first EOC? 
International Olympic Committee. Cubertendo then Libes Populus Viquelas. The options. Oh. 14, <coughs> 14th. What was the Equecheira? It's a tricky question. I'm sure you will do the. You will answer the correct question. Yes. Five. And 15th. And then we will do a pause and recount. Who was Spanish gymnastic candidate for the Olympic gold who died? in a plane crash and after this question we will recount and we will see the points and Boogie is the the team, the first team, just uh, 800 points ahead of the second one, the Hustler, Magical Rino, third, Sakura, fourth. Uh, come on, Simba, Kathy, Skids. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. We are going to continue. 15 more questions, 16th. Who was the swimmer who became Tarzan in the movies? Ian Thorpe, Michael Phelps, Mark Spitz, or Johnny Wiesmuller? We're talking about 1920s, 20s or 30s. Okay, five answers right. I forgot to, to ask Jota and Juan Carlos in the pause, sorry. <laughs> Who was the opponent and friend of Jesse Owens in the 1936 Olympics? It was a German guy. Lutz Long was the right answer. Poker number 18. Question 18, and how far is the marathon race? And after this question, we are going to ask um, okay. uh, to ask uh, our two experts, J. Uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, what was, uh in our opinion is, is uh, that the, the contest is very <laughs> interesting because uh, just uh, in, I think it's in four questions, all the schools, uh, that's, uh, that's correct. That, um, and that is uh, very interesting because normally the last year was um, with a uh, good efficiency, but uh, now in just in, in four questions, uh, all the schools uh, give uh, the, the correct uh, answer. And what what do you think about that, the, this this point? Well, I, I'm I'm surprised because uh, the majority of the of the answer are, are, are okay, and then they 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 show that uh, they have been studying and they they have been uh, well uh, looking for for the new uh, new experience about the the Olympic Games. And that's what I said uh, before. That, that uh, the the Olympics, the Olympics is, is not is not only sport, it's culture, and it's friendly, mm -hmm. and it's a good experience. It's uh, it's, it's it's very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm <por> aquí. <laughs> Uh, let's go to continue. Uh, cheer up, everybody. Cheer up, everyone. Uh, next question. 19 11 questions left who was the composer of olympic music and 
Important names. Mozart, Beethoven, Samaras, Sebastian Bach, Time's Up. Okay, five right answers. Next one. Twentieth question. In which Olympic Games was the Olympic Oath introduced for the first time? It's very important, the Olympic Oath. In the opening ceremony. Mm, just three. Okay, next one. 21. Who was the first female Olympic gold medalist? This is a tricky two, a tricky one. Time's up. Okay, well done. Okay, 22nd question. In which Olympic Games did Spain not participate? Don't give up, keep going, come on. Well done, perfect. Um, 23rd. Just seven questions left. Please order the colors of the Olympic rings. Ready for left at the top. Reading for, leyendo desde de izquierda a derecha y desde arriba abajo. Okay. Very good. 24. You are performing very well. Who was the swimmer who won seven gold medals in Munich 1972? Michael Phelps, Martin Lopez Ubero, Ian Thorpe, or Mark Spitz? Three, two, one. Almost perfect. 25th. Who was the first gymnastic to get a 10 in Montreal 1976? She's a very famous person. Come on. Mm. Six right answers. Well done. Come on, next one. Oh. In what year was Juan Antonio Samarán selected president of the International Olympic Committee? Was the only Spanish or Spaniard who was the president of the EOC? Just two right questions. That was a tricky one, yeah. <laughs> 27th question. In which Olympic Games did two Spaniards win a silver medal in rowing? This is difficult. Five, four, just three seconds left. Come on. Four. That's good. 28, just two more questions. In which Olympic Games did Spain debut? Paris, San Luis, Londres, London or Stockholm? Okay, 29. Question number 29. Why did Spain not participate in the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Level to participate due to favorable treatment of France, civil war for the participation of certain countries. Civil war, yes. And the last one, the last question. Number 30. What city has organized three Olympic Games? It's the only one with three Olympic Games. 
three, two, one. Yes, London. And in two year in two years, Paris will will have just three. And let's check the score in first position. Sec Castillo. <laughs> you are the winner. The hustler is Alboran. Uh, second Sakura. Uh, Sakura was Santa Isabel. Third Magical Rino. Catalunya fourth. Simba. Qatar uh, uh, fifth, uh, Katy uh, is uh, Atlántico uh, sixth and the banana, el plátano, ciudad del campo, the last one. Well done, everyone, uh, and congratulations to Sec el Castillo. <laughs> Daniel, Martina, Sara y Carlos, muchas felicidades. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? ¿Cómo os encontráis? Muy bien. ¿Felices, no? Sí. ¿Qué tal? ¿Os ha, os ha parecido muy difícil? No. ¿No? O sea, ¿habéis acertado todas o, o habéis fallado alguna? No, 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 no. ¿Habéis fallado una? ¿Cuál habéis fallado? La, 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 la. Ah. Que enhorabuena. I think it's uh, the most important is the, the participate, but uh, okay, uh, we have to explain that uh, the points is in, in relation with the, the the speed in the in the yeah. answer because uh, we, sometimes okay we, we can see that the, the last uh, teams maybe they have uh, less points, but I think it's. Uh, in relation with the speed in the in the answers, because I see every uh, school uh, answer uh, very fast, but uh, the points is in relation with the, the speed. I think is we we are very happy with the results. Uh, congratulations! The first time that uh, Qatar participate and El Castillo always are in the top in the top three. Uh, congratulations again. And uh, it's a good example for, for the others, but uh, you have a good brain. Uh, it's uh, this summer camp in July. Sorry. Yes, and, and we uh, we have to think to to explore to to put uh, the, the more difficult the, the the questions because the, you ha you have uh, answered the. Uh, 90 uh, 20, 29 29 correct and that's uh that's because well, for you is is it has been uh, very easy and then for the next edition we have to explore the the uh, well, to, to put a more difficult uh, questions hmm. uh, Pipe, we we can speak with qatar maybe because it's the the first experience we need contest okay. because in the, in yeah. the other schools they, they have the the knowledge know. and the, 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 the experience, but I we, we can to feel with this the the this uh, this experience and they can how they can enjoy this uh, the contest. Hmm. So how was your experience, Qatar? Yeah.